Hi everyone, let us discuss this concept complex number. We have already studied this topic in third year BSc, right? So let us recall few concepts and then we will go further. See, we start this concept complex number with this i. So i is equal to square root of minus 1. So you know that in a real number system, it is not possible to find square root of any negative number. But in complex number, it is quite possible since we define i in this way. i is equal to square root of minus 1. You can write the same thing in this way. That is i square. Yes, i square is equal to minus 1, right? The standard form of complex number is z is equal to a plus ib. Okay, so where a and b are real numbers, right? See, a is called real part of z and b is called imaginary part of z. We denote in this way, this is real part of z and this is imaginary part of z, right? So let us discuss few examples like this. So z is equal to 2 plus 3i. So this is a complex number, 2 is a real part. 3 is the imaginary part. Minus 5 plus 6i. This is also a complex number. Minus 5 is real part. 6 is imaginary part. 3i. That is also a complex number. Getting since where real part is 0. Since we can express 3i in this way. 0 plus 3i. 0 is real part and 3 is imaginary part. Next, minus 5. So, minus 5 is also a complex number. Since we can express it in this way, minus 5 plus 0. So, minus 5 is a real part and 0 is imaginary part. So, that means all real numbers, these are complex number also, whose imaginary part is 0. Getting And if you have numbers like this, 3i, 5i, minus 8i, like that, where the real part is 0, we call them as purely imaginary numbers. Okay. So, please note down all these things and then we will go further. So, now let us discuss the field of complex numbers. Okay. So, you are familiar with the concept field. In algebra, you have already studied. That means we have some non-empty set with two operations, two binary operations, which will satisfy certain conditions. So, in the same way, we are going to express or we are going to uh, represent the set of complex numbers. Okay. So, that's why we are calling it as field of complex numbers. In this video, we cannot cover each and every point about that field of complex number, but we will start it. Okay. See, complex number Z is an ordered pair. So, just now we have seen Z is equal to A plus IB is a complex number. We write in that way, but now we are going to write as an ordered pair. Ordered pair AB, where A and B are real numbers. Where A and B are real numbers. So, what is meaning of ordered pair? It means AB is not same as BA. Getting so, it should be in the same uh, particular order. Then only it will represent a particular number. So, if you interchange them, so it will not be same as Z. Getting so, BA will not be same as AB. So, you know that in a field, always we need to have two operations. So, let us define addition and multiplication here. Okay, for I am taking two numbers z1 is equal to x1 comma y1 and z2 is equal to x2 comma y2 getting so actually z1 is equal to x1 plus i y1 or z2 is equal to x2 plus i y2 in that way also we can write but see we are defining a field so that's why we are expressing in a this way right so here x1 y1 x2 y2 all these are real numbers so x1 y1 x2, y2, all of them are real numbers. So, let us see how addition is defined here. So, addition, okay. So, addition z1 plus z2, which is equal to x1, y1 plus x2, y2, right. So, the addition is defined in a very simple way. That means simply we add uh, component wise. That means what will we have? x1 plus x2, right. And we will have y1 plus y2. So, addition is very simple. So, now let us dis discuss multiplication. So, multiplication. So, multiplication is defined in a different way. Okay. So, let me show uh, you how it is defined. Z1 into Z2, which is equal to X1 Y1 into X2 Y2. So, maybe you are thinking simply we can multiply component wise, but it is not true here. So, it is defined in this way. Product of first two X1 X2 minus product of next two numbers y1 y2 
okay so y1 y2 so this is the first component and in second component we write first into second x1 y2 plus second into first y1 x2 right so first into first minus second into second comma first into second plus second into first so in this way the multiplication is defined okay so we have these two operations addition and multiplication uh, in the field of complex numbers okay make a screenshot of it in next video we will discuss few more interesting things thank you bye bye